What we're going to speak about now is this g in this equation. It's got nothing to do with the smaller g, okay, which we use, really use to describe the uh, gravitational acceleration, which at the surface of Earth we generally take as being 9.81 meters per second squared. This gravitational constant has very different units than the acceleration due to gravity. And the first thing I'd like to do is to find its SI units. Okay, so to do this, we need to use some work that we did previously with um, uh, finding the units from a particular equation. And what we used to do is place that unknown as our subject of the equation. So that will give us then we translate all of these into their respective units. Now, if we are after SI units, then we need to convert all of those in their SI units. If we're asked for base units, then we convert those into base units. Let's go with SI units first. G is equal to force. Its unit is newtons. R is a distance. It's a length, so that's in meters, but that is squared. And you've got two masses there, so it's going to be kilogram times another kilogram. Now that gives us newton meter squared all over kilogram squared. And those would be the SI units of G. If we're going after the base units, then it is a bit different. So for the base units, we're going to start off with the same equation, but rather we need to open any derived quantity into, in terms of its um, base quantities. Length is already a base quantity. Masses also, that's, those are already um, base quantities, but the force is not. So we need to come up with an equation for force. Again, mass is a base quantity, acceleration is not. So we do need to come up with an equation for acceleration. And acceleration we can write as change in velocity on time. Now, this time round we've got time which is a base unit but velocity is not so one last equation should get us to all base quantities displacement and time and now we can start working our way uh, backwards so s is distance time is seconds the velocity is in meters per second Okay, those are the units for velocity. So I can replace velocity with meters per second, but in the denominator there, I've got another second. So that will give us base units for acceleration as meters per second squared. Now I can take all of this and replace them, or rather substitute um, A with them. So that's going to be meters per second squared. And we've got a mass which is in kilograms. So the unit for force I'm going to write all in the same color is kilogram meter per second squared. So now we know that all of this we can replace with F. This time round we're going to start writing everything in terms of their base units. So G in terms of its base units is you've got force and force you've got all of that so that is kilogram meter and then the denominator you've got a second squared there's distance squared here so that's going to be another meter squared and in the denominator we've got we said a kilogram squared we can simplify such an equation we can have these two okay that's a meter squared and that's another meter so that's going to come up to uh, meters cubed but we can do away with one of the kilograms in the numerator. And that will end up with a meters cubed divided by a second squared kilogram. And that is the base unit for G.